at what stage are you with the commercialization of OPV? And do you believe that one day OPV will be the main technology? If yes, why and when? Well, um, where Canark is, uh, first let me just say we're the world's leader in the development and pioneering of organic PV. Um, I would characterize ourselves as still very much steeped in the ongoing research and development and improvement of the performance of the materials, while at the same time we are beginning to commercialize at least first product generation of our technology and have identified the go-to-market segments that we think our technology is at a level of performance and with desirable attributes to begin to enter the market. Uh, but it will be several years before we can fully serve the market in many more applications. So uh, I would say we're right at the cusp of beginning our commercialization, uh, but there'll be still quite a bit of research and development ongoing uh, for the foreseeable years. Generally speaking, I believe, at least for the next decade, that crystalline technology will be the majority of what is the solar industry globally, um, certainly through the balance of this decade and, and well into, into uh, the early tw uh, uh, 2020s. That being said, I believe that organic PV, which is carbon, elemental carbon based, and classical PV, which is silicon based, have different attributes. They have different performance features or benefits depending upon the application. So I don't see this as crystalline versus organic or organic versus crystalline, not at all. Ever since the founding of the, of the company and in dialogue with CEOs of some of the larger leadership crystalline companies, the conversation has always been that organic PV can broaden the market for solar, that we can open up new application areas. As an example, our technology, Canarca Organic PV, today we announced a relationship with Wabasto, the leading uh, vendor in roofing systems for automobiles. At the auto show, we showed a organic PV, see-through, colorized, energy harvesting roof. So uh, we could put organic PV on every automobile of the future and it would not take anything away from classical crystalline solar. So I really see these two technologies both growing, ours emerging, and both complementary to one another. For example, maybe you continue to put high efficiency crystalline solar on the rooftop, but you cover the four facades of a building or urban architecture or automobile with organic PV because of different performance attributes. Um, maybe someday organic PV might be as much as 20, 30 percent of the overall solar industry, but I really believe that the majority will continue for some time to come uh, to be crystalline based.